Bird of the Wood by Letier, Sally Sherwin, the Grand Park Orchestra, led by James Paul. A wonderful virtuosic turn, no doubt a stable of uh, staple of summer concerts for many, many years. And uh, Miss Sherwin receiving a bouquet in appreciation of her performance here. James Paul leaving the stage uh, briefly, and in just a moment he'll return to conclude the first half of this concert with uh, selections from The King and I. Music by Oscar Hammerstein. Looks like a little bit of uh, stage resetting will take place uh, before that. We'll talk with uh, James Paul during intermission this evening, in addition to uh, Jim Palermo, the artistic and uh, general uh, director of the Grand Park Music Festival, and Jim Law, the executive director of the mayor's office of Special offense, a uh, gym jam, uh, you might say, that uh, we're going to have this evening. James Paul, Jim Palermo, and Jim Law. James Paul, uh, the new principal guest conductor of this uh, music festival, the Grand Park Music Festival. He was music director and conductor of the Baton Rouge Symphony for some 15 years, and at the conclusion of his final concerts in February of 1998, he was named conductor emeritus of that ensemble, the only conductor so honored by the orchestra in its 50-year uh, history. The soloists uh, that we're going to hear in the Hammerstein selections are soprano Melissa Dye and tenor uh, Job Christensen. They'll be joining uh, the orchestra for Getting to Know You, I Have Dreamed, March of the Siamese Children, and Shall We Dance. Melissa Dye, a native of DeKalb, uh, Illinois, most recently performed the role of Anne Draper in Strike Up the Band at the Auditorium uh, Theater. Vocalist Job Christensen is currently uh, performing in uh, the Chicago Shakespeare Theater's production of Joseph and the Amazing uh, Technicolor Dreamcoat. Both of them uh, quite active performers in the area. And here are our soloists, Melissa Dye and Job Christensen with James Paul for selections by Oscar Hammerstein from the King and I. 